Hey everybody and welcome back to Crafting Made Easy. For this tutorial we will be putting together a bracelet. So you'll need some stretch magic this is what I use I bought this roll from Amazon for $19.99 um, of course you'll need some beads you'll need some spacers if you choose to put spacers on your bracelet for this one I am putting some spacers um, I think I got these from blackgirlsbead.com or um, Jenna's Cabs I cannot remember um, I got these beads which I absolutely adore from um, Michaels and they were having a 70% off sale on beads at one point I think it's this week I'm not sure but um so that brought them the last when did I go to Michaels Tuesday so um and today is Saturday so it might still be on so check out your Michaels it, there's a 70% off on all beads so check that out but I got these from Michaels and the rest of the beads I believe I got from um Jenna's cabs. If not, I think I got them from someone I just ordered from, which was shoot, Jade's Flip Flops. I'll put the link in the description bar below. But I love these, the blue and the red. They're solid. I love them. And they were not that expensive. And I got this charm, I believe, from um, Black Girls Bead.com or Jenna's cabs. I don't know. Y'all know I buy a whole bunch of stuff, so I, <laughs> I don't know. But I will try to figure it out and put it in the description bar below. At any rate, for bracelets, the way you're supposed to measure it off is the length, the length of the cord. The way you're supposed to measure it off is your wrist. So you're supposed to wrap it around your wrist times two and then um, plus 40 centimeters. I just kind of eyeball it and cut I probably do too much and then I pre-stretch it so what pre-stretching is you're just kind of stretching out the cord so I pre-stretch it so it doesn't lose its um, elasticity faster it's pretty much already stretched out um, to where it needs to be so then it's actually longer than what I cut it and then I use a bead stopper. Uh oh. It's tangled up in another bead set. Okay. So then I have a bead stopper, and I cannot remember where I brought these from. I don't know if it was Michael's or Amazon. I don't know, but it came in a set of five or six. Um, and they basically stop your beads from falling off. I also have a needle. You don't necessarily need the needle. Um, I just find it quicker to use to kind of thread through the beads. These needles came in like a pack of um, 10, and I got these from Joanne's Fabrics. There are some bead, what is it, beadalon, and it comes in a pack of four that you can get from Amazon or Michaels or anything like that. And then the next part is just kind of beading. So you just, oh, this came from, I want to say Michaels, because I have another one for bracelets, not bracelets, um, necklaces. You can also, yeah, this is one is from for necklaces that I got from, um, not Amazon, Walmart, but this one I got from Michaels, and it's basically for beads. So, um, right now I have it on a seven and a half inch. I could move it over here for the seven, I have it on a seven inch, but I should move it over to the seven and a half inch because I have an extra bead here, but I just didn't really feel like moving it. But it kind of measures out how many beads you'll need for a six inch bracelet, a six and a half, a seven and a half inch bracelet, and a seven inch bracelet. Um, for um, your customer so you can ask your customer like what size is your wrist blah 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 and then they'll be you'll be able to see how many beads you use you, you'll need to use I typically try to use at least between uh, 20 to 23 beads on a bracelet for it just depends on the size these are 10 millimeters so I would just use um, I would um what am I trying to say? I would use about uh, 20, 20 to 21 bracelets 
not bracelets, beads on this bracelet. So I'm just braiding it, not braiding it, beading it the way it's going to fall at the end. So this is what um, my end piece will look like. And then I'll just go around and you're just, I mean, you're basically sticking your beads on the needle or on the thread. And actually my needle came out because this one has a bigger hole. The other ones I use don't have that big of a hole and you can close it once the beads go on it. So you can easily just do it with the thread alone, but it becomes a little difficult when you um, go back through. So I'll show you that part in a minute. So let me just go ahead and thread these on. And it's fast. It doesn't take long at all. It's mostly... The hardest part, I think, is trying to figure out what beads you want to put on a bracelet. <laughs> to me, that's the hardest part because it's like, oh, I like those ones together, but I like these. And then if I use these, um, I won't have any. So to me, that is like the hardest decision or part of it is trying to figure out what beads I want on the um the bracelet and the color schemes what charm I might want I usually try to start with my charm and then work from there or sometimes I'll switch it up and then do the beads and be like okay I want this one and that one to kind of go together so it just depends on what kind of mood I'm in if you make bracelets how do you decide what colors to go with your charms I want the this here And then when you get to the end, you want to kind of match it up to the beginning. Or that's what I do anyway. Um, let me just make sure I did that right. Because I want the blue and the red. Nope, I did the end wrong. So, my end, I put the spacer on in the wrong order. So, I just take my stopper off. And I love these stoppers. Because y'all know I'm a messy crafter. I would have stuff all over the place if it was not for this stopper. I don't know. Some people tie a knot at the end. But I just don't do that. I like the stopper. When I make waist beads, I tie a knot. But that's um only like if I use the string. If I'm using the waist, if I'm using um, the elastic, the magic stretch. From my waist beads, then I don't uh, tie a string at the end. I just make it the way I make a bracelet, where I use the stopper. There we go. Um, so then I take my stopper off, I put it like in the middle, and then I tie a knot. So I tie a knot and then I get my stopper again and I put it on this end. So I put it on this end right here. Okay, so then I just thread it back through. And this one might be, I might need a needle for this one because um, the blue beads have a smaller hole in them. Okay. I broke my favorite needles last night. Well, I had one left 
because I lost one. I don't even know how I lost it, but <laughs> I went to tie the waist bead on myself, and then I realized I couldn't find my my needle. So I don't know where it went. It may have fell on the floor and it's somewhere around here. So I'll have to find it because that's like my favorite. There we go. Needle because it bends the hole bends at the top. I mean, I guess I could try to bend this hole. Let me see. But it's just too time consuming. The other one, once it goes through a bead, it just bends on its own. And it kind of holds your, um, yeah, this one's not doing it. So I just have to make sure I don't lose my string but anyway i just go ahead and thread it back through because i want to tie my final knot in like the middle so let's see god dang it i knew i was gonna lose it Ooh, i do not like these needles and i lost my other one i lost one i broke one <laughs> That's just like, oh my goodness. So I need to go back and see if I can purchase some more and get more than when I brought the first time. And like I said, you can always just, there we go. once you get it through that first bead, it kind of stops moving around as much. But I just kind of thread it back through. This is the paint in the behind part. And at this point, you can take the stopper off because it's kind of secured now that you got it through the uh, first bead the second time. So you can take the stopper off, but I just typically leave it on there. You can tie it, not tie it. You can um, tie it off right there in the middle if you want to. And some people use, let me show you. Some people use this glue to kind of seal it off, um, seal the knot off so it doesn't open up. I've heard positive and negative things about it. I don't use the glue on my um, elastic because some people say that it wears the elastic down and the bracelet doesn't last as long as it would if you didn't have that um, glue on the on the um, knot. I don't use it for my elastic. What I use it for is, let me just thread this through real quick. What I do use it for is on the um, split ring when I see that it may not stay because there are some that are thick and there are some that are flimsy. So if I have a flimsy uh, split ring, I'll put a little glue on it so it can stay closed pretty much. But I don't use it on my um, knot. And then there are some people that don't pre-stretch their elastic. Some pre-stretch it. Some people say that it lasts a long time without pre-stretching. Some people say it doesn't. So it's kind of up to your preference on if you want to pre-stretch it or just not pre-stretch the cord. And um, like I said, it's up to your preference if you want to thread back through. This is the most tedious part here. It's just going back through. Your needle kind of gets bent up because it's real flimsy. It's not like a regular needle. So don't expect it to last a long time. They get kind of bent up and everything else like that. Um, and I'll probably get to about right here. And then I'll go on the other side and then meet it in the middle. 
But yeah, what I was saying about the needle, don't expect one needle to kind of last a long time. Like I said, I broke. I can use them like a couple times. I've noticed that I can at least get um, maybe two, three good uses if I'm pushing it from one of the needles. But they are... really flimsy I said I was gonna wait till but I don't think a, a knot will get back through there so I'm gonna um because it took me a little bit to get all right and you can always go back up and meet it right back there but I try to gently pull and I say gently because if you pull too hard you can accidentally pop your um string ask me how I know because I, <laughs> I have done it okay and I had to start the whole doggone thing because it popped where it was too short to tie all right and it was for a customer so I didn't want to um, tie it where it was and then try to glue it and all the other stuff. So if it was for me, I probably would have just glued it because I could just put it back together if it pops later on. But So that's about where I want it. I make sure it's not a lot of in between. Make sure you got and while you're threading it through you can always pull it so you make sure it's at the tightness that you want all right so then you'll just tie it basically Looks like it's still too much space in the middle. There we go. And the way it tied, it looked like it was still not tight enough. All right. Here we go. So that's why I just untied it. Okay. Can you tie it? And I tie it about three, four times really tight so you want to try to get it as tight as you can without popping your string and if you get it a good three times and you pop it that's fine but you just want to make sure it's you know secure all right so i think that was about four times so that's good and then i just take my little scissors here I think I, this came off Amazon in the kit. It came with like beads, starter beads, and uh, some charms and stuff. And then you'll just cut it as close as you can without cutting your knot. And then you'll have the little knot there. And then you'll just pull it into the bead. Okay. 
Okay, so it's not, it doesn't want to cooperate. Oh, we're going to fold it out the beat. <laughs> there we go. All right, so there we go. So it's inside the bead. Got a piece of lint on there somehow. All right, so it's inside the bead. So you don't see the knot anymore. And your bracelet is done. So if you just want your bracelet to look kind of like this, that's it. Your bracelet is pretty much done. But I want to add my charm on there. So I want my charm to go right in the middle and I have so this is like a, um, a double split ring so these are just regular split rings that you can use your um, I'm not going to open this one but I'll show you just in case you're not familiar with it and I got this kit from um, Joanne's fabrics which was too flipping expensive for it says it has like over a thousand split rings in it, but I don't know. But it was just way too expensive for my taste. But um, so you would take the little split ring. Here we go. And you would take your needle nose pliers and you would take another pair and you would hold it here and then open it like that. Then slide your charm on and then you would put it on your bracelet and then you would close it back like that. That's it. When it looks like it's not closing all the way, I kind of just take this and pinch it. And then if it um, doesn't still look like it's, it's like it's a little gap, but you already pinched it, um, you already try to close it. I do put like a little bit of that cement um, glue there to kind of make sure it stays closed. All right, so. I already had one of those on my um, charm, so that's why I didn't want to do it. And they come in different sizes. So this one is, I think, maybe like a medium size. And I have the bigger size, but this is like a double split ring. So it has like two loops. You can see it better on this one. So it has two loops. And... This one is a bigger one. These ones are smaller ones. So I just have different ones. Gold, silver, black. Some of these I got from um, different websites. And then some I got from um, Walmart. So for this double split ring. Let me see because I don't know if I'll be able to really get it on the camera. You'll need a split ring pliers. So I got these from Joanne's Fabrics. You can get them off Amazon. You can get them anywhere. And they it wasn't that expensive. I think it was under five. No, I think it was under eight dollars. So what I do is you just hold it here like that. And then I just go like that. So now it's open. And then you just slide your um slide it onto your string as so and then you just kind of weave it through so i wasn't sure if i'll be able to show you on the camera exactly but i'll try and it takes a little while to you know get it on there or get used to the pliers but once you do it's probably it's pretty easy so then you just open it up so you see it's open and then you basically just And just slide. Uh, I don't think it did it stay. Okay, yeah, it did stay. So then you just slide it onto your bracelet, and then you just pull it through. Keep pulling until it's um basically on there. Uh oh, because my charm is in the way. 
the kid right now? Let me see. I'm trying to make sure I don't take it off. <laughs> Sometimes I get it on the first try, and then sometimes it's like, yep, you saw it. Alright. Okay. So if you're having an issue with it just kind of falling, because especially where it um where these the endings are, like right here. Sometimes they don't want to um, let the string go through. So you just open it up a little bit more and then pop it in. So there we go. So that is my bracelet. And it's all put together. And then I'll show you. I'll do a different video. Um, just showing you how to, if you get these, trying to get used to it. Because sometimes you it's like hit or miss. You can get it the first time and then sometimes you can't. But you really just want to make sure this is open, this part is open, and you can open that part up and then slide it through. But I try to put it through like that, and then that way I open it through. But um, hopefully y'all were able to see it. But if not, I'll just, you know, do another video of more bracelets because I enjoy doing bracelets and people enjoy the bracelets that I make for them. This one is for myself <laughs> because I don't, I rarely make a bracelets and stuff for myself so i decided to make a bracelet for myself and um there we go but anyway if you like the content of this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up button hit the subscribe button to be um subscribed to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when i drop new videos okay everyone until next time peace